Hey, what's up, everybody? Python is super cool. As a GIS professional, it's in your best interest to learn a few basic tools and methods to help you get better at your job and make your work easier. Make sure you stick around to the end of this video where I'm going to share my go-to reference for all the questions that I have for Python. In this tutorial, we're going to be talking about string chopping. It's really called string slicing, but I like chopping. My whole body's a weapon. Speaking of which, why don't you go give that like button a quick but firm chop? Remember that text in the programming world is known as a string. Try to think of it as a string of text characters. A string object in Python is also known as an array, which has an index. That means each character of that text has a number that you can use to reference that character. Let's take this string that is stored in a variable called myString. I can run a print statement using the myString variable as input, and it will print the contents of that variable. Now if I run the print statement again, but I add these square brackets with the number 2 within them, I get a capital S. Those square brackets and the number inside them are the index for whatever is in that position in the string. If we take the string and put every character inside a box, and number those boxes from left to right starting with 0, that's our index. Let's run another print statement using a 6 inside the brackets. What do you think is going to be returned? I'll wait a few seconds while you do your counting. If your guess was lowercase o, you got it right. Now if you got that wrong, try to figure that out. Where did you go wrong? It may be that you started counting beginning with 1 instead of 0, or you skip the space character. Spaces are considered characters too. So that's how we reference one character within a string, but string slicing is actually grabbing more than one character. To do that, we can give Python a range of slots by using two numbers separated by a colon like this. This is how Python interprets those numbers. Grab what's in the first position, and everything up to, but not including the second position. So this position is included, but this one is left out. The best way I've been taught to remember this is instead of thinking of these positions as boxes, think of them as lines separating the characters like this. Slicing will grab everything between the lines. Python gives us a couple of handy tricks with slicing. Let's say I want to grab the text subscribe from the string stored in this variable. Rather than typing out the first location of zero, I can leave it blank and Python knows to start from the beginning of the string. Now the same thing goes for grabbing everything from a certain position to the end of a string. If I want to get GIS chops from this string, I would specify the starting position, add the colon, then leave the second slot blank. If you've watched my other Python videos, you know you can use negative numbers to count from the right side of the string, negative 1 being the last character in the string. Keep in mind that string slicing is left to right. So there you have a quick introduction to string slicing. Now, as promised, my go-to reference for all things Python is W3Schools. I've put a link down below in the description for their Python section. That site has really great explanations that are easy to understand, and it has this cool interface that allows you to mess with the code, change it around, and then see what those changes do. So go check it out and get some Python chops to amplify your GIS chops. Now go give that like button a chop for me. And then chop the subscribe button, and then hit that bell. I've noticed most of you do your viewing at work, and the best way to get notified of when I put up new content is to ring that bell and mark all notifications. So to help my channel out, make sure you chop all three of those. The like button, the subscribe button, and the bell. Triple kill! And we'll see you next time.